What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Apple earlier this week took the wraps of iOS 9.3, so I thought I'd download it, install it, and run through everything new you can expect when you finally hit that over the air download button. Let's go ahead and start with Flux, uh, sorry, Night Shift Mode. Now what that's going to do, it's going to reduce the blue light emissions from your device, which studies have shown have a real deep impact on circadian rhythm, so it can help cause insomnia, which I certainly suffer from. Essentially it's gonna eliminate the blue light and shift it to more of a yellow hue. Looks pretty in yellow. Apple now is finally adding 3D touch and quick actions to almost all of their first party apps, which arguably should have been there from day one. On the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, for example, the apps that now get 3D touch include weather, settings, compass, and health. There's also quick action options for the App Store and iTunes Store. Probably my favorite update though, the App Store at Quick Action now includes Update All should make life a lot easier. Notes got arguably the most useful update though. There's a new option to use Touch ID or a password to protect notes within the Notes app itself. When you flip the sucker on, Notes is gonna ask for either the user's password or fingerprint when opening. There's also options now in settings to organize notes by date, edited, date created, or title. So if you store passwords in Notes or the personal information, you can now keep those locked down and secure. The news app is also getting some updates. Apple's made it more customizable for the person that's actually looking at it. The For You section, for example, now includes trending topics and specific picks from Apple themselves to help you better discover content. The content that they want you to discover, at least. Also included is a new landscape view for notes on the iPhone. It's gonna let you have inline video playback. The health app's also getting in on the updates. When viewing the weight, workouts, and sleep categories, health now links to apps you can download that allow you to track all of this data. With the combo of iOS 9.3 and Watch OS 2.2, the iPhone can now pair with more than one Apple Watch. So you can just punky Brewster it up and have like four Apple Watches and just one phone. You'll be good. Wallet also got some updates. When using Apple Pay, for example, there's now an option to open an app that's linked to a pass or credit card. Let's say you're using the United app and you got a boarding pass there. A new icon is going to show up that's going to open the United app whenever tapped. So you don't have to close the app, find the app that you want to open, and go back and forth. CarPlay is also getting in on the updates. Apple Music, for example, now has new and for you sections to help with music discovery. Maps also has an update now with beta 9.3. It's going to provide you better information on what's nearby. Things like restaurants and gas stations will be just a lot easier to find. So what do you guys think about 9.3? Is there a killer feature you've been waiting for in iOS? Is it another bland update? Love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Until next time, I am John Render from Techno Buffalo. Talk to you guys in the next video. It's time for some Elmo's world. Do you want to know the alphabet? Apple Music isn't such a blessing and a curse. And now Nate will yell in the back at us. Be like, play Choo Choo Boogie! Seriously, now he's going to have options to discover more, more music that's going to annoy us.